When you start writing your HTML page, you have to write the HTML element, the head element, the body element, right? You have to write a lot of elements before you can get started and write your code for the body of what kind of page you want to create. What if there was a way that you could actually, with a snap, get all the boilerplate code? Now, boilerplate is a word used of whatever getting started stuff you need, right? So that's the word used in the web world or the programming world, boilerplate, all right? So actually VS Code has a trick already built in. So I'm gonna create a new file over here and I'm gonna call it index.html, all right? Simply this HTML page is created and VS Code is smart enough to recognize that this is an HTML page that's around the top uh, bottom right corner, it says HTML, right? Auto auto detects it's an HTML page. Now, the trick that I wanna share with you is that if you type in an exclamation point, you see something shows up called Emmet abbreviation. Emmet is actually a tool that comes pre-installed in VS Code that helps you quickly write code. So it basically has shortcuts and stuff like that. So if I simply put an exclamation point and hit enter, you see this boilerplate code automatically shows up. It has the doc type, it has HTML, it has the head element, it has a body element, and it has a few additional elements over here as well, actually three of them. It has title as well over here, and it has three additional elements which are all named meta, the meta element, all right? And it has multiple properties over here. In the next video, we're gonna look at the meta properties, but for now, I just wanna share with you this particular cheat or cheat hack, let's call it. And one more thing I wanna share with you in this, uh, this video over here is that a lot of times that you write a lot of code, let's say you have an H1 element and maybe some information and a paragraph and stuff like that, right? Uh, maybe a div, all wrappers and wrapping around it and stuff like that. Now, a lot of times that when you are a developer and you want to write certain notes, right? So let's say you're coding some stuff and you wanna write your own notes or some helpful information, right? Maybe for your own reference or maybe for the, the code developer that you're working with, just for sharing notes. So if you wanna do that, the way to do that is by writing code comments, code comments in your HTML in your code. And the way you write it, so let's say this is my note for myself, all right, just for helpful purposes. The way you do that is you simply uh, write these characters in front and at the back of the comment. And there's a helpful shortcut inside of VS Code is by simply putting in command and then forward slash, so it removes the comments and adds the comments. So basically, this code is not processed by the browser and it just says, oh, it's just comments, this is not code, we're just gonna ignore it. So this is something I wanna share with you. So a lot of times you can use that, uh, let's say if you are just coding a website and you're like, hey, how does the page look without the headline? So you can simply come in and make it a comment and you're like, it's disappeared from the page. If you wanna put it back, you remove the comments and the, the element is back. So that's a helpful technique I wanna share with you and I'm gonna talk to you in the next video. Talk to you then.